Hey, a few people were asking about the Train Sim World 4 gameplay in the main video, or the, I guess the sponsor in integration. They sponsored me for that, and uh, they also gave me the game for free, so I should say that. Uh, this is the Blackpool branches, so the Preston to Blackpool and Omskirk add-on. I think it's the best part of Train Sim, uh, or the new one, so let's talk about it. Um, boxy Train gameplay, and by Boxy Train, we mean the... Uh, the apparently the worst train of all time, which is the Pacer, uh, which I think it's a little bit more hate than deserved um, because like we don't have an analog of this here in the US. Uh, we, we had the RDC and we had like some DMU based stuff, but we never had like an direct analog comparatively to the Pacer. Skipping forward here a little bit so we can uh, leave the main station area. You'll also see, since we're going on the branch line out to Blackpool North, you'll see the electrification ends as we leave the main line. Um, this section, I like this DLC a lot because unlike some of the other ones, I think the British countryside ones are done really well. And um, it, it's just a, I don't know, I personally enjoy a lot of the foreign ones. It's a different experience um, than a lot of the American ones because it's just like, hey, this is kind of whimsical almost. With the Pacer, uh, it's interesting because a lot of these type of branch lines in, I guess, old industrial towns that were saved with service, um, we never really, like I said, we never really had an analog to this in the U.S. because a lot of our branch lines d disappeared at some point. Um, only a few of them remain really in the U.S. in the Northeast. Um, they're coming back now over time, but it is taking a while. But... Uh, but yeah, those who don't know the Pacer, it's basically a bus chassis on a freight wagon. Um, and you, and the craziest part is it has mechanical transmission. It doesn't have a uh, generator motor set unit. It's literally a mechanical linkage between the actual axles and the motor. So in when you're accelerating, you can actually hear it shift gears. I think it has like three or four gears. The RDC had something similar, but the Pacers are definitely unique in that aspect. And that's what kind of makes, like I said, this. some of the other trains I, I don't really find that interesting. Some of the steam stuff is interesting, but like um, with this uh, DLC or add-on to Train Sim, I find it a lot of fun because it's, these are just quirky trains. Um, like a lot of trains I don't find that interesting. Even some of the Am Amtrak and northeast corridor stuff it's like yeah it's it's something i recognize something i know but still it's like there's only so so much interest you can have in something that you see all the time um in a simulation where these are kind of so goofy that i just kind of enjoy watching them eventually i know they're retired now but eventually i have to go to the uk and ride some of these this service that I was running here in this scenario was an express service, so we passed a few stations on our way to Blackpool North. I think one of the fun things about the pacers that's kind of simulated in the game is that when you throttle to zero, there's actually mechanical drag. Because since they do have a mechanical gearbox and it's not an electrical one, there is, like, you do have some drag from the transmission and from the motor itself. It's kind of like if you're driving, like, a manual car. Not as extreme, but you can tell in game that you slow down when you put the throttle to zero. Um, it, they're just so weird. It's so funny the, seeing the pictures of the Septa Pacer. Um, I, I w kind of wish that showed up and stayed here. It actually kind of toured North America, which I find was funny. It went to MBTA and it went to VIA. Um, but yeah, we never really got anything like this in the U.S. for various reasons. Obviously these would explode in a crash with any U.S. freight train of any sort <laughs> um, if, if that ever happened in the U.S. because uh, there's no crash safety. It's, it's, your crash sa safety is just not hitting something. Um, so, yeah, it's, it really sucks that like we never saved a lot of our branch lines by doing something like this because at the end of the day, buses are only so good, and buses can't really avoid traffic a lot of times where a trains usually can, um, at least car traffic. So here, skipping ahead a little bit, we're pulling into Blackpool North. 
for Americans, Blackpool North is about the equivalent to Atlantic City. It was once a really big tourist destination, and then once you could then fly on an airplane for an affordable price, it became a very uh, kind of useless place because it's like, well, we can now fly to a lot cooler vacation places. Why would we go here? Um, apparently, Blackpool is now more of a commuter city to like Manchester and Leeds, but yeah, it's the the closest American equivalent to it is Atlantic City. It's just a place that used to be a vacation place and now is uh, very much not. And you could tell that the glory days are over. But also like Atlantic City, Blackpool still does have a train station. Actually, Blackpool has two train stations. It has north and south. This is south. Um, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, this is definitely one of my more favorite recent additions to train sim. Um, like I said, I've never been the biggest uh, train sim or just simulator train person in general. Um, but I find these fun once in a while, and they are fun to play on stream. They're definitely a good streaming game. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll have to tell me if you like this type of video. Um, if you're interested in Train Sim, I'll have the link down below in the description uh, to check out. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let me know uh, what your opinions are, um, because I know everyone has opinions about uh, train sim and dovetail and uh, what they like and what they dislike uh, but uh, yeah I thought this uh, this one's definitely one of the the best ones they've added in a while but uh, yeah um, let me know if you want me to do more gameplay or uh, videos like this in the future where I just kind of talk casually over uh, some gameplay and we kind of discuss a little bit what's going on I was, I was so so relieved to have the um, Corridor ID video finished. Uh, so relieved. Um, that was a lot of stress off of me. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a good January and uh, into February. I have some fun things planned for February. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys in uh, another video soon.